Laya did show a bit of promise, I thought, in uh, Maiden here behind Sounds of Heaven at the meeting on the 15th of October, but probably one for another day. Yeah, she's 22 to 1. Look, she's the fourth fall out of the Oasis stream mare, who's herself a sister to uh, Harzand. She's bred to go further. She was beating the guts of seven lengths by Sounds of Heaven here back in October. She is probably bred to be a better three-year-old, but the fact that she's quite cold in the market suggests that maybe she'll come forward from today as Gary Carroll has a little bit of his hands full with one for mum, who's the benefit of two runs, Dandy Man Philly from um, Ger Lyons uh, in the colours of Thomas Mitchell. Going into the stalls, we'll be interested to see if Bold as Love is the last to go in or if she's gone in already. But uh, yeah, this is an interesting race and it'll be... I think it could throw up a good winner. So five to two the field now. Bowlers love the favourite ahead of Persian Jewel at one hundred to thirty and warm hard at four to one. Loading up pretty steadily now. Just going forward there on the far side was Snowdonia Song, who now carries Jim Bulger's hopes exclusively in the absence of Tushtoon. Curvature about to go up with the red hood, obviously now removed. And after she goes in, I think we'll only have two or three left. They include the favourite Bold as Love. Commentary here at Leopard Sound this afternoon comes from Jerry Hannon. White flag raised. Golf peril, the last one. All in. And they're off. Ten fillies over one mile in the opening race. The flat is back at Leopardstown Maiden. Well away curvature. On the rail is Warm Heart as they race the end of the first 200 yards. They're followed by Boulder's Love with the rail position. Persian Jewel on the inside of One from Mum and then Snowdonia's Song and Golf Perla is next. And then Hazalea, Kitty Kitty Roa. The back marker is Tender Kiss. A little over six furlongs to go. The leader is Curvature. Showing a length and a half in front of Warm Heart in second, two lengths back to Boulder's Love in third, and fourth is Persian Jewel, and then one from Mum, who's racing in company with stable companion Golf Pearl, and then Snowdonia's Song has a lay a tender kiss, relegates Kitty Kitty Roa to be the back marker. Coming out of the back straight, the leader is Curvature and Shane Foley by less than two lengths to Warm Heart and Ryan Moore, and third is Boulder's Love and Gavin Ryan, half to the favourite is Persian Jewel. As they come up to the four furlong point, the halfway stage. These are followed by Gulf Pearl and one from Mum and Snowdonia's Song has a lay a tender kiss and Kitty Kitty Row is the back marker. Eight to ten lengths covering the field as they come up to the final three furlongs. In front is Curvature from Warm Heart, tracked by Boulder's Love, then Persian Jewel on the inside of Snowdonia's Song, around the outside of one from Mum on the rail is Gulf Pearl with the back three has a layer. Tender Kiss and Kitty Kitty Rowan. Two and a half furlongs to go as they hit the straight. It's Curvature with written up on the outside, Warm Heart. Poised in third is Bold as Love as they straighten at the two. Bit of a break then to Gulf Pearl and Persian Jewel next with one from Mom and Snowdonia's Song and has a layer. Tender Kiss, Kitty Kitty Roa racing to the final furlong. And over on the far side, it's Curvature who's gone again from the front. Warm Heart second, back in third place now by four, five legs. Bold as Love and Persian Jewel, but it's Curvature in front and holding Warm Heart and Persian Persian Jewel curvature written out to make all and the flat is back in Leperstown Philly is made in second warm heart close to the third Persian Jewel and a running on Hazalea fading to fifth was bold as love uh, that's a really good performance from curvature putting her experience and race fitness to good use to land the opener here very very positively ridden by Shane Foley as well who went forward from stall 11 and though briefly did look vulnerable to warm hearts early in the straight was able to see that one's challenge off in the end pretty comprehensively Jane nothing else ever really got involved did it? not really no Shane's got it spot on from the front and it looked like when he went forward from the gates she was a fraction keen he managed to get a, a rhythm into this homebred by Newt, from Newton Anner and um, Ryan having sat second uh, Bold as Love having sat third there was nothing got near the front two uh, Paddy Toomey's Persian Jewel ran on promisingly for third and Hazalea has shown us a lot more to finish fourth, but I suppose the benefit of the race fitness curvature here from the gates, here on the outside from stall 11, Shane just lies up her neck, gives her her head, uh, just wants to get across ahead of Ryan, who obviously doesn't want to make the run, he's just taking back warm heart. But just here when Shane Foley gets to the road and he wants to just take her back a bit, she, she, she resents it a fraction, um, and I thought maybe that would make her life difficult, but nothing got involved from behind. Notably, one for mum was quite keen, 
Uh, Wayne Lorden was happy to sit in and, and tend her kiss. She never really came home because at this stage she's beside the horse Hazalea that does eventually finish fourth. And f for much of the run, bar Bold as Love, who faded, the running order didn't really change. Mm. Bold as Love, I suppose Jane has to go down as the disappointment, had a good position on the way around, seemed to be pretty strongly fancied if the market was anything to go by any mitigating circumstances that you could see no obvious um no obvious excuses she had a lovely position um gavin got her nice and settled she relaxed in the gates everything went right for her the only thing i would say is she's physically the smallest in the ring and maybe some of them have improved past her over the summer but sh she's still a nice filly and this is their first start of the year on heavy ground so i'm sure she'll have have her day but I think it's a step forward from warm heart from what we saw from her behind Dund uh, beginnings at Dundalk. She's run a good honest race, but Shane Foley's in command here. He's got his filly leading off, her actually her outside leg coming in, uh, turning in, and, and she, she extends. Like every, uh, every ask, he, every question he asks,